Hi, Peter here. And what is your morning routine? Go ahead and if there's a chat below, go ahead and enter it. Um, is it uh, meditation every morning? What else do you do in meditation? I thought uh, today I would give you my morning routine. It does change from time to time, but at the moment I'll give you my morning routine. And I think you uh, might find this a little bit funny because it's Friday today and part of my morning routine on a Friday is to go and beat up my friends. That's right, on a Friday morning, I actually go and do cardio boxing with some mates of mine and we get in the boxing ring and uh, we do some punching of bags and that and then we have a, a bit of a spa uh, from ourselves. So I do, uh, I get up at 6.45, uh, sorry, 5.45 every morning and I meditate from six till seven. And so that's six days a week. But on the seventh day, on a Friday, I actually get up and go to the gym and I have it out. Uh, so instead of meditating, I'm there bashing up my friends. Uh, and so a couple of things, um, you don't have to be so sacrosanct about your meditation practice. And I do recommend that you meditate uh, every day. Uh, and that is very, very good. But the main thing is to keep that schedule. So if like at the moment, I'm only doing six days a week. And if that's your schedule, commit to that and always keep that schedule. And the fact that you miss the seventh day, uh, you know, as long as you've chosen to do that, then that's not a problem. The problem comes when you promise yourself, right, I'm going to meditate seven days a week or whatever, and then you skip two or three days. That is the slippery slope between uh, before uh, eventually doing nothing. So yeah, so 5.45 from six to seven, I meditate or from uh, six to seven, we do cardio uh, boxing. Now, the other thing that I um, want to suggest uh, outside of, you know, what is your meditation practice is whether or not that aggression is a good thing. It's debatable. You know, um, you guys hopefully have had a bit of a laugh that I'm up, uh, smashing people instead of uh, meditating. But uh, I guess my point of view is that uh, aggression that is totally understood can be made use of. And the reason that I believe it can be made use of is uh, the following. So. I, I know I need to keep fit, you know. I am losing fitness rapidly as I go into, you know, middle age and, and old age. And so I've got to do something at least three times a week to be able to try to keep fit and, you know, to keep up with the kids, basically. And so uh, I used to do a lot of individual sports. So I've always been a surfer and a windsurfer and I, you know, go by myself and do various sports or go bushwalking. Um, Nowadays, I'm less motivated to do that. I don't really know why, I just am. I'm getting lazy, but uh, that's just how it is. And so what I'm finding now though is, I'm finding that going and exercising with other people is highly motivating. So I know that they are waiting for me, for example, um, and I you know, feel that commitment that I wanna be there and share that with them. So getting up and, and going and meeting my friends and, and doing some workout is a good thing. And also, I'm finding that when there's a little bit of, um, like in boxing, you've got to keep your guard up. And so even though at the end of the workout, you feel really, really tired and you just want to relax. And if you're lazy, you just want to get out of there. And if you're doing uh, push-ups or whatever, you just, uh, you just take it easy, basically. But if you've got someone that's looking to give you a punch, you've got to keep going. So it really forces you to push that extra mile and just keep working your body out and, uh, you know, for that hit training, high intensity um, workout training, which is so good for the body. And so I'm using a sense of aggression to do what I want, which is keeping my body fit. Now, of course, I would never hurt my friends and my, my friends would never hurt me and I'm totally against violence. But uh, I like to use 
the uh, mindset of the body and for whatever reason um, there is an aggression in people uh, and so you, one must control that in meditation but it is there it's it's always there so you know use it and use it productively uh, anyway that's my blog about my morning routine and why maybe aggression and all the negative emotions sadness anxiety depression whatever they're all natural so we shouldn't be afraid of feeling those negative emotions the point is do they can we use them in such a way that they contribute to our practice and bring about more compassion and more motivation and more perseverance and more generosity or can or do they lead us those negative emotions do they lead us which is most of the time down the wrong track um, so there is no such thing as bad meditations there's no, oh sorry bad emotions there's no such thing as bad emotions but uh, there are emotions the negative emotions which lead us to be uh, you know to, to, to be more selfish and that sort of thing which is against where we're trying to go with the enlightenment of our own mind so uh, comment below if you agree or disagree, if you think boxing is a complete, um, uh, shouldn't never be with meditation, a complete antithesis, or whether you agree with me that it, it's good to uh, get out and, and do these sports, uh, even if it might be perceived as being uh, a violent type of thing to do. All right, hope you enjoyed the blog. See ya.